Endgame, baby. We talking MCU after Endgame. I hope the league is ready to talk because I want specifics with this question that I'm going to ask the panel. I want uh, everybody to chime in and be as detailed as they can be because this question is something that I derived up, but it's 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 important. With everything that's revolving Endgame, you know, it's over. After Endgame's dust settles. You know, it's killing box office records. It's making its money. It's, it'll land between 3 and $4 billion somewhere. That's fine and it's good. That's awesome. And I love that game. But there's a real serious question and a serious topic that needs to be talked about. And that is... Oh, let me just go ahead and put it up for you guys. Uh, the Avengers phase is essentially over. What's next for the MCU in phase four? What do we want? That is not a loose question. I want specifics. Three years from now, 2019 to 2022. With what they got or what we want? Like, you know what I mean? What will. What will. Got you. So no, no. So no fan fiction here. Got you. What will there's, happen? There's, there's no, there's no, there's no, I want, I think, I, it's about if you are placing your bet on how the future will turn out. What does it look like for the next three years? That's after that's knowing about what we know about Fox, whatever we know about Sony, what movies, what does their schedule look like for the next three years after Endgame? So keep that sheet in perspective. First three years. Does anybody have the balls? to tackle it first or should I throw some suggestions out there I, I, and maybe get your brains stirring a I, little bit I can start alright J3 is ready, ready. Um, <laughs> go for it well after we got Spider-Man which ends phase 3 yeah. um, <clears throat> there's there's a lot of talk about certain films like Doctor Strange Captain Marvel Black Panther um, there's a lot of rumors out there you know Fox um, Disney finally acquired all of Fox property which uh, which adds in the X-Men, Fantastic Four, Submariner, that kind of deal. Uh, in the next three years, though, I don't see it being as strong as the last couple films because there are a lot of characters that have to be kind of developed again. And um, um, I see, well, there's nothing in 2020, but in 2021, I can see them coming out with the Black Panther, Doctor Strange duel. You wanted something like that? We just come put out the films, or yes, okay. So what like, do the films look like for the next three years? So what like, direction are they going? So what is the next phase? You know how this yeah, is. Yeah. The first is the, this phase is Thanos. Yeah, it's Thanos. It was it's Thanos, 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 Thanos. Now it's not Thanos. What's the end game story plot leading up to? And what is the first three movies that you see them coming out with in the in the in the future? I'm be honest with you. If they're trying to triumph over something like. Thanos was, it would have to be something just as big as Magnitude, and I don't think Secret Wars would be that. I think it would be something like Galactus. Something to add in the Fantastic Four, something to give the intergalactic space, space world a different um, look at. You know what I mean? Where you can add more Guardians in there, you can do more with the Galactus. Silver Surfer, you throw in a lot of more characters like that. So um, I see it being a duel though. I see it being a duel. I see it being Galactus and Apocalypse. I see them running both because since if you're not going to reboot the Avengers, you got to have a new Avengers, meaning you have to have a new Avengers that have to be acquired with something like Galactus and the Fantastic Four. At the same time, you're going to have X-Men now. But what does X-Men go against? They go against Apocalypse. So I see a duel of a mixture of teams collaborating to fulfill these type of films. So I see two levels. So you'll have the Eternals, which will come in like 2021, mixed in with a... Uh, uh, um, uh, Doctor Strange 2 and then you will have Guardians at the end of that year Guardians 3 you're going to end the chapter with that Guardians and you might start a new Guardians team moving forward um, 2022 that's when you're going to introduce Fantastic Four and you're going to start because you, you basically lead off with the Eternals and Guardians showing something like Galactus appearing and then you have Fantastic Four which will have to go against something Maybe maybe Doctor Doom, maybe a Silver Surfer, not sure. Um, and then you'll have, with that, the Disney Plus is going to have a big factor in a lot of product that's going to come to screen. So 
they're going to be throwing a lot of a lot of characters and heroes to introduce them on a Disney Plus stream. That's what I'm seeing. The like, that's what I think it's going to be like. Uh, I don't want to say too much without spoiling anything because we do have a Black uh, Black Widow movie coming out, and uh, I think that was kind of just be as one 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 off. Um, they're not going to really they're just going to throw that out. And be like well, here's your Black Widow movie, yada yada yada, and we're done. Um, they have to rebuild the Avengers. The X Men I see coming that third year, um, and everything like X Men, Black Panther, uh, Captain Marvel. I think they'll start really hitting really hard. But at the same time, the Disney Plus will have a lot of content coming out, and they'll be building up for that apocalypse galactic situation. That's what I see it. Okay, hey, that's that, that's a pretty good shot, bro. I like the way that, that, that sounds. He said he put a little bit of uh, Galactus in there as far as more cosmic-oriented. Uh, um, with a little splash of uh, Guardians, which we know is coming out. And um, what do you think, uh, Ronan? Looks like you're ready to get your juices flowing. Uh, Three I, years. The next phase is going to be a juggled, predictional-like phase because they're going to just bring sequels out for the characters that they just reintroduced. That's too, like Panther and... Like, Captain Marvel and Disney's known for playing it safe, so we probably won't see another brand new characters like a brand new universe probably until like Phase Five. So Phase Four is just going to be stuff that we have as far as like ongoing sequels. That's interesting. And then then throw the X Men in because they want to throw mutants in there, but they kind of said they are they already were there, but then they couldn't because of rights. You know what I mean? So it just kind of backfires. But now they're forced to throw them in there because now they have the properties. So it's just a, it's going to be an ongoing thing of fusing the new team with the old team and the original Avengers teams are gone now so it's like well now what are you going to do as far as new Avengers because nobody really wants to see that but they're going to have to do that so they kind of put themselves in the corner so phase four is looking kind of murky right now like I, I don't know exactly what it's going to be but it's going to be a lot of more teams now a lot of multiple teams in this new way yeah. instead of just going back to basics now things are going to be more disorganized from the looks of it you know, you still got your sequels coming in with the Black Panther, Doctor Strange, and Captain Marvel. But now you got a new face of the MCU now that nobody really is on board with. And then you got other members there that should be there but are not front and center. So it's just it's juggled, you know? So you think they're going to do a cleaning up type of phase before they get into the, the phase five of the real, the real meat and potatoes? Yeah, this is because phase four is looking like leftovers right now. It looks that way? Yeah. It looks that way. And, I mean, and so for the next three one, years, what do you see for the next three years, films for the next three years? Honestly, man. Honestly. Nothing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is it. This was it. So you think they're going to be, there's going to be space of just, they just don't have content. Let's, well, we got to put this out now that we have the rights. That's kind of how they're going there. Well, we have it. Let's make it. Not should we do it or should it be done. Let's put it out. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's, I, that's I can something. See that. I can see All that. right, uh, HC3, what you think, bro? Man, I feel that you know we we already got the like you said the the sequels coming out, the Doctor Strange two, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Spider Man uh, Far From Home to end out the Phase three. Um, but it, it's like I'm not. It's like if that's it, you know what I mean? It's like it, 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 I think they. In Endgame, where they did a, the the women women team up, you know, to uh, protect Spider Man, I think they going they going like all all female, you know what I mean? Like and, and Captain Marvel to to lead the way, you know. Uh, I think that's that's where I think they going, man. They're headed to 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 you know uh, empowering uh, women, you know, um, like Black Widow's coming out, you know. Uh, Captain Marvel Two is coming out, um, and and after that, I think they're gonna add in the X Men. But I think they really want to try to uh, get the women involved, you know, t- to be to be more uh, more more lead uh, in films, and, you know, whatnot. So that's why I think is is uh, is going on. Um, but but after that, I think X Men will be a big hit, you know. Hopefully, they do them justice, you know, because we're so used to them on Fox and whatnot. So, so I think I think the next three, the first after the sequels, then I, I think there's gonna be more more 
more females within the MCU uh, to lead shit, you know. And then X Men, and then after they get X Men established, I think Galactus, mm-hmm. you know. Good. So or, or maybe they they can even uh, 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 intertwine the X Men and then Fantastic Four, you know. So I mean, I mean, they 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 they, they not they they're not dropping the ball, but there's gonna be a big layoff from the Avengers, you know. Maybe they have some some new Avengers too. Uh, but I I feel that they they know where they're going, you know. As far as X Men, they have X Men now, so so I think X Men is it's gotta it's gotta be the big hit. X Men is gonna be it's gonna be the big hit. They gotta get their rights for the Hulk back. They gotta get them from Universal. They still got it. Huh? They gotta get it from yeah. Universal because that's <laughs> we. I think. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. I'm no, 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 no. That's good enough. Good um. Enough. I'm just I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. What you're saying, you know, it's they don't have their rights. <laughs> they ain't got nothing really. That's why characters are all effed up. Listen, what, I, what's listen, happening? Listen, 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 though, right? Well, because the Incredible Hulk is what, trash. We got two different Hulks. True, but you heard about that. But we got two the same Hulks. thing is that that you really want more Hulk? No, 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 no. It's not that. What I'm saying is his arc. His arc as far as space and those characters are his characters that intertwine with a lot of those battles. Hey, it's not really important to Secret Wars. What, well, or Galactus. What, well, well, what I'm saying you is... You do without him. What, what I'm saying is not saying... you know, The Hulk's rights, the Incredible Hulk's rights, not just the Hulk, it's other characters that are part of his archives, like Spider-Man. Spider-Man rights are all his villains. So with when you when you acquire Spider-Man's rights, you get the villains. You get the Cravens and the Carnage and stuff like that. And sometimes when you... Like when, you, when Fox had Fantastic Four... You know, they had some Mariner part of that. That was part of the rights. And then they had Ghost Rider too, because some way they all came together in some form or fashion. So, you know, they got to get, they, they, they got it. I know they're not going to get Spider Man, but I think when they get the Hulk, it will increase a lot of the space uh, villains and stuff. Because we keep pointing just to the main villains, but there are a lot of other villains, but they can't use them because of the rights. And, and, you know, when I'm thinking about it, because you got She-Hulk and stuff like that, you gotta have a She-Hulk eventually. She has to come. That's what I said. You, it's gonna be a predictable phase. It's, 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 they don't have her. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta you because she's part of that stuff, and she was she you know even in the uh, Infinity War, you know what I mean the the real one. She was you know she was in there. You know what I'm saying, and and she can do some damage. And and when you talk about female empowerment, the problem is you're trying to empower females that aren't empowered. The problem is you mm-hmm. have your females, but you're not using them. The ones that should be in power. Exactly. Well, they did that because, with Black Widow, yeah. Because you have Storm, who's the leader of the Mordocks, and I mean, uh, uh, the, not the Mordocks. I'm saying the Mordocks, the uh, uh, underground, the um, <coughs> the, uh, the the mutants underground. What are they named? The um, oh shit. The mutants underground. Uh, the green one. I'm not. I'm not having powers. I'm just ugly. What was the name? Uh, that she's the leader of the. Uh, Storm was the leader of the X Men. No, no, no. She was the leader of the underground mutants. She went down there and beat their master, their leader, and she became the leader of the. Uh, you guys, the chat know, but she was the leader of that. She's also a queen, and she second in command when Cyclops is not there, which makes her a leader mm-hmm. of the X Men. There was very, a point where she was the leader of the X Men. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, X Men. Yeah, she was the one. But I, I think I think every X Men, because even Morph was the leader of X Men. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know, Morph is dead. Morlocks, yeah, the Morlocks. Yeah, I said, dead, right? Bro. Yeah, the Morlocks. She's the leader of Morlocks. Okay. So yeah. she had her. She had. She was queen to a lot. Yeah, and she's a very empowered, power character. Captain Marvel's a very empowered character. Uh, Jean Grey, the Phoenix, is a very empowered character. Mm. Um, um, but they didn't have these rights to these what's characters. What's I'm saying, saying. She Hulk is one of those characters. Uh, so you're uh, saying the ones that they don't got you, and and they're not utilizing yeah. them, yeah. And they're trying to force all this other. Who the How hell do is, you utilize them? They just got them. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, you you have. We don't know yet. That's what I'm saying. But this that team you're talking about that was whack. Because you look forced. at it, yeah. no one cares about Scarlet Witch. That's just keep that 100. She is, bro. There's not that many, bro. There's not that many epic female Marvel characters, bro. What what I'm saying it, is, I'm naming Wonder Woman, and then everybody else is a thousand meters below. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, and I'm, that storm. But I'm naming, I'm naming Marvel's ones, like Marvel. I know they don't, but but they, but now that they have these rights, 
you know, you can do a, a empowerment of a movie with these characters without making them sent a front center and forcing that idealistic on us. Because She Hulk as a character is very empowered and she's very nice. And she really gives it. She gives two cents about what she does, and so does Storm. Storm is glorified because she is a queen. Storm. Everyone loves Storm because Storm is so kind. We're gonna get her. She'll whoop your she's, ass. She's coming. But all right, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think you don't think they're gonna. They're gonna I, I think use they're gonna Storm? use Storm. They're gonna underutilize Storm. That's why I'm speaking mm. on it. I think uh, because you think they're gonna Black Widow Storm. Bingo. They can't. They can't afford to do that. I think they. I think they're gonna take that. Storm team. is the most popular Marvel female character. But this is MCU but, though. But this is MCU. And you have it where that's like saying they're going to underutilize. So they're going to play it safe. Captain America. Look, look, they're look, play look, it safe. Look, 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 they did it, underutilize it, Captain, Captain Marvel. Three movies. The face. No, they, you think they're going to show Storm respect hey, after making hey, Captain Marvel? I think Marvel they'll the show face Storm respect. Hey, hey, she, they have to. I hope so. JT got a point, man. Because because so. look, look, look. Captain Marvel is the the forefront of women empowerment right now, right? And yeah. to put oh. Storm up there with her. In this society, in in this MCU, that's not going to She fits happen. right into freaking Brie Larson's demo sheet that she wants. No, 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 that, no, no, no. That no, SJW no, no. sheet is black. Those are two And she's a woman. This, Brie Larson is going to brace the shit out of Storm. That's no, two no, no. different it's, ideologies. It's, it's two different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because Brie Larson, her, her ideal of that is very twisted from what it should be. It's like the well, film. I know. It's like the film Peppermint with uh, 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 Jennifer Garner, Jennifer Garner yeah. a very empowered character. And you like her, just like Alita Battlefield, a battle angel. Right. You like this character. But what she wants is nothing like what they are. It looks like Brie Larson is going to be the Iron Man of the next f- – Yes. The, the future. Yes. She's going to be the Iron Man. Yes. Who's going to be the cap female? Oh. Storm. I'll bet Storm. Why? It, I'll bet Storm. Oh. Mm-mm. Think about it. Iron Man. If Storm – C-list character, Captain Marvel. You D-list said, you character said Storm front that they made popular. You said Storm front and center, right? That sounds like she's a side woman. There right will there. not be. I don't think there will be. Storm. I think they're going to do just like we have here. What do we have here on the screens? We have Cap and Iron Man. This is not a one man show. Gotcha. Talking about the queen There's two. You talking about the Queen of Wakanda, right? Yeah. No. We're talking about no. I'm talking about the the princess slash queen of Kenya turned right. Storm <laughs> right. the X Men. A uh, black woman that's black a princess. Woman. That a legit princess, of the first time princess, and they're she gonna push that yeah. over the white one. Nah, nah. Are they not? Nah. Are they not pushing to challenge Black Panther? No, 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 no. Black Panther. He. They, come on, they re- they're already doing it with T'Challa. Bro, come on. Bruh. He just came back. Did you see Killmonger and his ideology? Bro, bro, bro. Kill the white man. Bro, bro. That's an MCU movie, bro. Fight to put a stamp on that. Bro, and, Th- and, that, and that, I bet, that's and proof I bet, that they're willing to do it. Money, that that second one won't be near that. Well, I'm not taking yeah, nothing away from what they did. Because that's I, not fair. Because I that's know. Not fair. Is he coming back? That second one. You're doubting them. You're putting you're mm, putting doubt. You're I hoping they fail. Did. No, no, I'm no. going based off what I, Black Panther did. I, Black Panther did everything you said they won't do with Storm. No, but is Killmonger coming He's a back? prime example. Is he returning? Killmonger? Is, is I think it? he's gone. He's okay. dead. Killmonger's dead. I think Black Panther. Dead. If you look Black at, Panther pushed all those those those, that was those a big mistake extreme him ideologies, man. Yeah, yeah. But you show Killmonger, who's a dead character, and what did Black Panther do? Oh, I see. What he, did, wrote, he defeated him. And what, <laughs> what did Black Panther do? He defeated was, him and then tried Black, to save. Where him. was Black Panther's kingship? Where was his strength? Where was him that showing him? Like you guys told me, I asked. I said, is "This the Black Panther? that is not T'Challa. He was a shell of what he was in yeah. the comic book. He's a shell of what his father was, and they downgraded that black character like they do every black character, like they did Falcon, like they did Rhodey. They didn't and, downgrade his mm, blackness, though. I don't, I'm they just downgraded gonna... his epic superhero ability. What are those jokes, bro? White Wolf. Why is White Wolf What's Bucky? Wrong with the, what are the I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. That was funny. I'm that was culturally saying. important. That was I, a real thing three years ago. What I'm saying they is. They downgraded him as a character, too. They, not, they, not just Black Panther. Like, they, they didn't show never smart, uh, uh, his smartness. Uh, he's supposed to be the smartest person in, in Wakanda, right? No. They, gave, they gave it to Shuri. Yeah, Shuri's the smartest person. Yeah. They, I just. What I'm saying it's is. Shuri, bro. She's the smartest I'm not disagreeing <laughs> with. They, I, I'm, not dis- I'm not disagreeing, but as far as Storm. Being all that greatness, which she is, she's ten times better than every other female in the MCU. Period, just yeah. by her leadership, and to show, because I always said MCU it, MCU always kills all their villains. What I when when you see something like Storm, Storm obviously as the character of her being a black hero, she Look by so far weird. passes every other hero as far as leadership and tactics and skills. Are they willing to do that? <laughs> 
is MCU willing to put a black woman in the front center of their company? Are they willing to show that this is the queen? This is the princess. This is Storm. This is Storm. She's an X Man. She's a Morlock. She's to chop. She's they're doing it with Black Panther. Yes, mm. I said the answer is a solid yes. But that's his movie. But, it's not hers. You're but, looking at me a certain but, type of way. Three. How you feel? Uh, no, Black Panther was never uh, was never in the forefront. He was he, not. Whoa, even, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not. He is the it, forefront now. Cap is gone. Who's gonna fill those shoes? Uh, oh, not Black Panther. Black <laughs> Panther is going to be the next. He's gonna be the next. I'm not saying Cap. As far as popularity goes, there's only two characters that I follow, and Cap is and Black Panther is one of them. Am I lying here? It's Spider Man. The next Cap, it's Spider Man. I think it's washed. You only got two the, movies left on his contract. The next Cap is Falcon. No, no, no. For one, For, oh, there's there's wearing the suit, and then there's being Cap. Oh, okay. You, okay, you okay, freak okay. your suit. Your okay. suit don't tell me shit, and we don't know if he's even getting a movie. They gonna send him to television. Yeah, he's going to TV. T'Challa's Black Panther is the only character that was here when the MCU and held his own against Iron Man and Cap and became my favorite and the world's favorite last time I checked. Yeah. We had these conversations. True. And you think that fighting is not... Who you think is going to usher the future? Black Panther is a huge player. And he will be in Wakanda in future movies. And that takes me to my predictions. Bro. That takes me to right, my predictions. Bro. And let me let me speak on them now. Hold on. Terry Go ahead. Hey, hey, is washed, bro. I don't yeah. know what you mean. What he, do you mean by he's watched? He's tired. He's in he great looks shape. He looks tired. He looks done with Black Panther. He's he, it, he didn't even do. For, he's done, this, he's he's done with Wakanda. He, that's the that's he's done with that. But he's not done with Black Panther, bro. This made he looks done, bro. He looks done. He looks done. He's not. Be, 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 hey, 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 after part two, man, he he's out, bro. That's what you're predicting. No yeah. more Black Panther. No more. Man. It, it, not from his character. Not from him. I think, like I said before. So you, watch, so you think he'll make just appearances, if you will? So you like, think he'll be, uh, 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 maybe his little sister will be a Black Panther. Uh, oh, no. But but it, in, Shuri, in, 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 in his own movie, man, he, he got he got uh, uh, outclassed by Killmonger. And that's that says a lot right there, bro. Like like he he he's no uh, he's no leader, bro. He gets outclassed by Killmonger in the comics as well. Black Panther's no leader, man. I, I, Killmonger's I that dude, leader. bro. Killmonger's that dude. I know, which I mean, is why they so never should have killed point. him off. They should have kept it him It was around. on point. He's got owned by Killmonger like he should have. That's not a problem to me. Right. This time, Black Panther is going to be in the future, I believe, and I'm going to say that because here's my prediction for the future of the MCU. If we look at history and how it repeats itself. They constantly, if we look at the build up to Avengers 1, it was simple. Five movies Avengers, yeah. or four movies Avengers. Yeah. Iron Man Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Iron Man 2, Avengers. Uh -huh. So, <coughs> Loki was that villain. Medium time boss, not a big overall threat. A little peon in the grander picture that is Thanos. Right. I believe that they'll do something along the lines. Um, Wakanda is going to be explosively important in the future of the MCU. Everything is going to be based around Wakanda, in my opinion. You know how Earth is kind of a thing? I think we're going to be in Wakanda for a lot of films, a lot of uh, threats, a lot of big uh, uh, threats from outer space will come and they will address Wakanda. Wakanda will be the hub for a lot of places. It already was for Infinity War. That was not, that was probably some foreshadowing. Wakanda is the place Namor was probably teased. I see some Namor coming in this motherfucker. Right. I see Doctor Doom being the first character that, with the rights that they get that they make a move on and they go for Doom War. Which you have the rights with Black Panther ensconcing that. That's a small little mini battle with characters that you already have that you can make epic in five movies. They could have a Doom War film by the year 2020. I think that would be the first. That could be that would be my first major arc. By 2025, you would have Doom War already. That movie's coming out. And you could already do that by building movies. Black Panther 2's on the slate. I think Black Panther 2 will come out in 2020. I mean, 2021. We're getting Black Panther 2. I think you'll have a The Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in 2022. And you'll have Doctor Strange in 2021 along with uh, Black Panther's 2's movie. And I think Doctor Strange will talk about the new threats in outer space after Thanos. I believe the death of Thanos alerts and lets cosmic being known beings know mm. earth is a place that we need to pay and start paying attention to and now you're going to get your uh Eternals. galactus your the eternals your galactus the war sad all that shit all the nine of them they're going to start to pay attention to what's going on and galactus is the one who makes a move on earth where wakanda 
Black Panther and, and Galactus have had issues in the past in the comic books, and I think they will probably revisit that. I think Wakanda is the hub. Now, whether or not it's Black Panther who does it or Shuri for the future, I don't know. Because you could either show Black Panther, like you said in Black Panther 2, uh, being Black Panther, and by Black Panther 3, he passes the mantle to, 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 to Shuri, his little sister, who in the comics by Tenehisi Coates was the Black Panther. So now, now what you got is black female. So you would have a black female storm and probably a black female black panther along with this white female Captain Marvel. Hey, take it how you want. I don't want that sheet. I'd rather have a black panther, uh, uh, male because that's the character that we fell in love with and Shuri came many years later after the character was already popular. But those are the type of things that I'm looking at. Sony ruined my initial plan because they're, they've freaking Venom made 800 something million dollars. What the freak is wrong with you people? So now they're going to hold on to their sheet for, for dead stock. I think Spider-Man is gone. As soon as the, the, the time is over, his little, they're going to snatch him back. He's going back to Sony and they're going to do their Sony verse, bruh. Craven's coming out. They're going to make a Craven movie. I'm sure Morbius is happening. Jared Leto's in that. Tyrese is in that too, I believe. Yeah. Sony's doing their thing. They found out that they can make money making mediocre films, and I, it's over. It ruins a lot for me. I wanted Craven in Black Panther 2. That was my villain, but it's not. We'll find out. But they've shown that T'Challa is that dude in this MCU already. He's the future for the MCU as far as the males go. What are the motherfucker is it? Thor? The Asgardians of the government? No, nah, no, bro. they the Guardians now. He's the Guardians. They took him off. He's of, an Asgardian. They took, no, no, I'm saying he's with the Guardians now. They took him off of Earth on purpose. He's done. Yeah. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is a part of the future. Yes, Doctor. Str- I think Strange, it's Doctor Strange, Strange and Black Panther. Those are the two. That's the Tony Stark and Iron Man. Males. Oh, no. Males. Oh. The male. And I'm saying Tony. Don't make it. Uh, when no, I say no, no, Tony, no, no, I'm, not yeah, talking, I'm, I'm not, talking about as far as popularity yeah, 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 and how it, and their it, importance to the it. MCU. Not replacing them. Yeah, no, no. I get it. I'm talking about the the two heads. That are, that have so much stakes underneath them and so much gravitas in the, and they're in the narrative of the MCU. I think it's Black Panther and it's Doctor Strange. And I think for the women, it's Captain Marvel and they can bring in Storm. It makes sense to do Storm because you're gonna have, you're gonna be in Wakanda so much in the future, I believe. Especially if you do like a Doom War thing with Doctor Doom and Namor. That shit is epic, bro. And yes, Black freaking Storm matches up perfectly in there. Yeah, but wait, if you say it's true with Wakanda, it would never be Shuri. It will always be Okoye. And Storm will not be replacing Okoye. Well, maybe they'll change it up. They it, might not it, do Shuri. It's, it's, you know, they like twisting going, things. It's going. It's most likely. It's going to be Okoye. She. She. I'll be honest with you. She. Had Okoye me. can't. She's in Dora Milaje. Yeah, she that's can't. what's up. She can't. She, she can't. changed the rules. Nah, no. Nah. Uh, because mm. be honest be with you, even in Infinity War, I mean, uh, in Endgame, she had no business on that that ranking. Talking about what's going on in Wakanda. Oh, she, uh, she, what do you mean? Like just the whole. They, like they. They were. She's the leader of the Dora Milaje. She's gonna. She's like uh, Sir Barristan to Khaleesi. True, but she's gonna be there for everything. Yeah, yeah, but you know, what I mean, with Black Panther not being there, you know, they made they put Okoye. So like, okay, Okoye is here. She's in battle. Yeah, she's the battle. She's the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and then when they did their girl power moment, she was there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was like, yeah, okay. like well, no, no, no. What I'm saying is that's where they're going for. It's going to be a Koye, man. Yeah, they're going yeah, for the yeah, girl yeah, problem. It's clear. No, 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 no. I'm talking about you, you, it's not Storm. I'm telling you, Tyrion man. Rain said that Wakandan wedding is going to be epic, bro. Storm marrying T'Challa. Ty- Tyrion Rain. In Wakanda. Brother, I'm, being, I'm being 100 with you, bro. It looks beautiful on comic book paper, but I honestly, my heart's telling me no it's time happen. soon. It's going to happen. That will never happen. It's going to happen, bro. They'll have to reboot everything for no, that don't. to happen. All right. Why are they going to reboot everything? Because everything's already effed up. The, the whole world. It's the end game. We're that trying to. Nah, that freak that. dead, bro. This freak is new. That. Exactly. It, it, it's a new look, beginning. Yeah, yeah. And look where we at now. We're trying to figure out something. Because we don't know. Because they don't have nothing. They, they have, have something, Just because you have properties. And when you when you it's like Feige has a plan. it's like a, yeah his plan is to dust he's gonna get out of there bro when you have <laughs> yeah, when you give him a plan and probably bounce here do this I'm out like George Lucas when you when you, <laughs> you, know what I'm you when go. you when you have something and you work with when you when you have very little and you work with it that works it's called the MCU you had very little J three loves reboots. <laughs> And 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 he does. And, he and, right and, plan, he and, does. and and when you now that you have your stuff to get it going, it's dumb. I don't care what no one says. Y'all can take it how you want, but you can't just throw in X Men mutants, bro. X Men, bro. X Men's not coming out for a very long time. 
a reboot Not has a to come. You need Tony yeah. Stark. You need Cap, bro. You need those beacons to look up to. That's the whole point of their existence. You're gone, bro. So it's kind of like a Young Justice factor. You, 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 got, you, got, you got you got Black Panther to look up to now. You got Wolverine in the, in the military, and and and, and, and you didn't and you didn't and you didn't know Cap. Your inspirations to get things done. You didn't know who Cap America is because you didn't fight with him. You you you, you change the thing, the Holocaust and and, and and Magneto and stuff. Things like that still – now, the Holocaust is 1940s, you know what I'm saying? So it's a little harder to do that in 2019 or, or in the future base. But you got to have something very similar to those wars that can bring those characters to life. You can't just have a Magneto say, oh, I've been here the whole time chilling. What? Where you been? You know what I'm saying? You need that. You need the, you need the Eternals. You need the uh, – uh, what's, what's, what was the team? The Space Mutants? Oh, uh, New Mutants the, and all that? No, not New Mutants. Uh, the Space Mutants. Oh, Annihilators? The Kree and the Scroll? They, no, the, the ones they made a show about. What they, what's the oh, Inhumans. 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 Yeah. Inhumans. Yeah. They yeah. done. No, no. Inhumans. But, but what I'm saying is the Inhumans have a big factor as, as far as Scarlet Witch now, Quicksilver, and what mutants are on Earth. You know what I'm saying? The, the, you have those rights and you can use them. Freak, you, the problem was they made these big contracts like these NBA players and these football players. And now they can't get the and, they, and they, instead of taking the loss of their money, they're trying to make stuff work. When I went into the Disney store, all I had to see, I wanted to buy my son a Spider-Man toy, was nothing but Captain Marvel dolls. Now, I'm not going to buy that. No. I don't want that. That's trash. You made a mistake. Now you got to live up to it. Now they're hiding under their mistake by showing you a lot of candy. And, and, and they're not giving us what we need. They need to go in and reboot that thing. Man. Mm. You need to reboot it. You don't have to put Captain America and Tony Stark off bat because Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, they hold dear to our hearts. Those are our characters. We, yeah. You know what I mean? Nothing will ever beat my, my best comic book experience in a theater was Iron Man 1, period. Nothing ever will beat that. Nothing. Uh, Nothing will ever beat the that. Audience. The audience, the, the, the love, the, 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 the Iron Man fans, the true Iron Man fans were there. All 12 of them. Nah, <laughs> it was a full audience at that time. Right? <laughs> nah, nah, it was all twelve, all twelve, all 12, all 12 at that time. Nah, it was it was a, a packed Grand audience. Fans. Great, Nobody great, was looking great, for great Iron Man mom. way back then. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 that's why they that, were old men. That's why they were fake. Uh, uh, that's why they were old men. No, no, they were young. They were fake. They were fake fans. Oh, what happened to old men? No, no. I said the grandpas. You said the, was, you said it was full of old men. No, no. I said the grandpas, <laughs> the dads, the kids, the sons. They were all in there, and then, then you have the daughters or whatever with the dads, but. It was a full uh, full theater, but nothing will ever replace that in my heart. It was the best comic book experience ever. They need to go ahead and reboot this thing because I want to miss a sinister. I don't want, oh, I just came out of nowhere. Nah, G. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I, I need to miss a sinister, genes, bro. It, that doesn't add up. Mutant, they, the mutant genes been there since the 1700s and yeah. stuff, man. I need that. I need you to tell the story right, or we're going to keep having cluttered stories where people think they know what they're talking about when they don't. This is why we have people. It's not the comic book. It's not the comic because you're just taking all this BS that's coming out. Yeah, it looks cool. Come it's on, fun. man. You can't. That's not. It fair. never was. The it comic. is fair. It never was. It's not it fair because we have. Because a, we just came off of Endgame, a MCU universe full of the things you're claiming, full of inconsistencies, changing character, nothing like the comics, and we still ended up loving it. They could do it again. But why, Iron Man is up here, bro. It but, shouldn't be him. He's freaking a C-list hero. But why would you make it again when you have the ability to not make it again? Was this not epic? Was this this was, was this, this 10, was, was this eleven year? Bro, was it? No, no. Nah, nah, you're taking you're taking it somewhere that I'm not going. This I'm taking it exactly. Where the you're MCU right. was created off of what they had. Yes. Now they have. So fix it. And that's they, where the, that's where acceptance comes. You didn't have it. We gotta take it. Even when That's they all I got. It. Even when they had it, bro, they still made. Changes. They never had it. They just got it. I'll give you a real life example, since you don't believe me. You said Black Panther's not a king. You said he's not that Black Panther from the co in the comic book. He was since twelve. He became the Black Panther when his father was killed by Claw. Yes, what's up? They had Claw, didn't they? How they utilize him? They had Claw, yeah. and they put him in Ultron, and had Ultron take away Claw's arm. Yeah. They chose to do that, and they. Did it anyway. They had Claw. They could have made Claw kill T'Chaka. Yeah. They chose not to. Yeah. They had Captain America T'Chaka. Mm. Did they make them meet in the past and say, hey, I served you up 50 years ago in Civil War? No. They made them never know each other. They are making choices based on the characters that they do and don't have to mm -hmm. tell the story that they want. And they still told a good story. Now, let's go into so the information. So it's not about them not having the characters. Let's go they to can switch shit up and make it still happen. No, let's, let's go to the information. Case in point, Iron Man. Uh. Let's, let's go to the situation. The Sage. The great one, the, the one that beat X Files, 
for the Black Man. That was me. Black, man, black yeah, Panther yes, mantle, that was me. right? That Correct. Was me. Now I asked you these, I asked these questions you. about these characters. Are these characters done no. correctly? Uh, correct. Is is Black Panther correctly? Who yeah. Black Panther I mean, supposed correctly, to be? Yes. If you're if you're talking more yes than no, then yes. He's more he's more done right than wrong. Is black? It's his it's his it's his it's his, his way of thinking and his personality that's off. So now, you have. And his, this is, there's things you that, remember. Yeah. The reason why a lot of characters are dumbed down that have the brains, that are the dude, because of their brains, is because of Iron Man. Yes. Iron Man took a lot of those abilities. Now ask me right now, when I trade Iron Man Tony Stark right now to get some smart Hank Pym, freak <laughs> Hank Pym, bro. Uh, Give me my Iron Man, bro. Now, what are we now, talking about? We ain't gonna trade it. So you wouldn't take the man that created Ultron. You wouldn't take the man that made Vision. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you wouldn't uh-huh. take the man that did all these epic things to give us the uh-huh. characters to be yeah, correct yeah, done uh-huh, uh-huh. because that is that's foolish, man. You're looking at his power set no, 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 and not what he let me finish contributed it. Oh, to the universe. Take, over that's Iron Man? Over Iron Man? That's the is, that the, is that the last part of the question? Iron Man over Iron Man, Tony Stark? Yes, I will. Uh, uh, yes, Bob, for 65000 I'll take Iron Man over all that shit. Do you realize that we'll still have a, a Ultron going on right now? We'll still have Vision? You mean we'll that still- trash Ultron? I don't, I'm going Iron Man made. The, the same nigga that Iron... So because, so because the Iron same Man made dude it, that Iron Man made, G. That's Joss Whedon's fault, bro. Ah, that's, that's, that's Iron Man's fault. That's Iron Man's... That's Iron Man's Vision. <laughs> and that's also... Iron Man's Ultron. So it's Iron Man's fault why Ultron was trash. Uh, he was a personality character. of Tony Stark, correct? Was he was he the personality of Tony Stark, right? I don't yeah, mind yeah, the personality. Yeah. So, so no, no, that's why he's trash. Because, because they took jokes. He was but trash. now, no, because now you can get you can do it right now. You can give you can put Tony Stark where he belongs, and you put Hank Pym, you put Mister Fantastic. You blamed a fictional character right. on why the script was actually trash. How I'm, does that happen? No, no, I'm telling you. You said you'd rather take this Iron Man than getting the story correct. And you, and I'm saying I didn't no, say that you, you just said you, you, you said yeah, yeah, you said the story correctly it was correct I, I've been I've been saying the whole good. time I've been saying the whole time yes reboot it yes get it done and yes. you said you think I'm going to take over yes Iron Man over some weak ain't it yes. Hank Pym yes and I'm telling you the things that Hank Pym created that yes. they didn't give to Hank Pym yes. which makes him weak to you replacing ten years of Tony Stark me loving him yes bruh do you have to re- I don't have no love for Hank Pym bruh. Who the freak is Hank Pym? Exactly. Somebody got old uh, man that's, in that man? That's the reason why. <laughs> Look what they did with that man, J3. That's the that's reason. That's your Hank Pym. That's the reason the, why. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is the reason why we mm-hmm. have these arguments. The smart Hank Pym Because they that never you do want. it right, and then we have How many Ant Man movies are there, J3? We always have these conversations. How many Ant Man movies are there? There's two. And one of them is the worst MCU ever, film ever made, bruh. That's your Hank Pym. Bruh. He would have been smart. That would have made his movies better. So miss me with that shit. He would have been smart and great and built this and built that in them trash movies. Give me my Iron Man, bro. What trash movie? The same Ant-Man trash movie that Iron Ant-Man Man had? Ant-Man and the Wasp. So Iron Man had two trash movies back-to-back, right? Ant-Man. Uh, so they Ant-Man had two trash Wasp. movies back-to-back. Let's go on Iron Man now. Yeah. Two trash movies back-to-back. Two trash movies. Iron Man. The man. Iron Man 3 is is bad. Uh, 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 I wouldn't call it trash. Two trash movies back-to-back. Bad, whatever. It ain't what he is in these other movies. Right, the Mandarin and, twist, and, was, and, was, and we the have, man, and if the Mandarin twist didn't happen. That's a good Iron Man movie. And and yes, you look right. at it, and you look at it just like it is. See look, him coming. coming. You, you look at it just like you look at it. You look at it. You look at it just like it is. If they just, I'm just saying, I'm okay with this. You can't compare the Iron Man Hold movies on. to these freaking Ant. Hold movies. on, is the that reason, what doing? this is the number one reason why the the Ant movie Ant Man movies are bad because Ant Man don't need his own movie. Ant Man is an Avenger. That's the difference. You trying to Ant Man made threats that in, was involved with the Avengers, the Ultron's Vision. Ant Man serves a purpose in that, not his own film. I never agree to him having his own film. I'm like, who the heck you gonna go against? So what are we talking about here? I, I mean, I, him as a character. What I've been talking about the whole time. Rebooting. So you want him and, to be and that you're saying, dude? I don't want to turn this no, in. Bro, you can't, this is done. You Tony can't Stark do is d- gone, bro. You it, you, can't do the that. end game is over. You can't try to build a character the, and then say, I don't want him to have his films. What? Just a dude on the side, huh? Bro, no, no, no. The Avengers are done, bro. The I know end, end game has ended. I know. And Tony, uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is out of contract. So is Chris Evans. They both said it. Yeah, they're they gone. ain't coming back as these characters. They're gone, yeah. So. 
reboot it because you need certain characters to move on or you're going to have trash heroes we're going to have heroes we just don't care about we already said it well i'm gonna watch that movie i don't know about that one that's not a good look moving forward okay. because now we're forced to watch it because we know how mcu is going to do it they're going to in- intertwine everybody if- into one movie where you gotta have to watch it real quick and- yeah. go ahead no, uh, you made a good point about the whole Ant Man thing. I feel like he should have been there since he was one of the original founder of Avengers. And I hear what you're saying about Iron Man because they took a bet on a seamless character that no one was checking for. It's too late. And since they made that gamble, they made it work because it of Robert Downey Jr. There's factors that went into why Iron Man succeeded. Yes, it is. But Robert then Downey you look at you look at Paul Rudd and then the character of Ant Man. There's, there's multiple factors there though. He did need a movie, but his movie turned out to be good, and nobody was even checking for that either. Because they explored the, the character, there's, they explored the character that wasn't even, you know, really necessary. But we understand his foundation and his history, like he was saying. Mm-hmm. I think they messed up because if when they did when they took that gamble with Iron Man, they should have took that gamble with Ant Man. You know, like back when they should have, you know, had him come out at separate times. I mean, he should have been part of Phase One. I mean, naturally, if Iron Man was there, I think Ant Man would have been around too. Like, there's no reason for him to come up later on, like Phase Two, Phase Three. I think they were scared because of how the reception would be. Yes. But naturally, as far as history goes, he would have been around in that setting. So it just, it kind of hurts that he gets sidetracked and Iron Man gets limelight. But we know the power of Robert Downey Jr. I don't think they and were him checking out. I think Ant Man would come back in a uh, universe like this because of the quantum and because of the tech and what he's contribute to the team. And you know, the, like he said, the threats and things like that. Why wouldn't he be there? I have a reason to answer that question. Why wouldn't he be there? I am. I believe with all my heart. If they released Ant-Man after the Hulk, there would be no MCU, and it would have flopped and bankrupt, and we wouldn't be here to this day. Why We're not keep, giving enough respect. Why do you keep to, going to on? Now. Why do you keep going? Two separate Hulk, I'm so. answering Rona's question. Okay. Uh, why Ant-Man didn't come out? Because he's not a popular character, and he's goofy as shit. Neither was Iron Man. He was an alcoholic. But now people look at But up they made him say, no. I'm talking about the movies yeah. we got. The, the, real the Iron Man 1 movie that we got solid, solidified the MCU. Had you took an Iron Man and made him the third film, mm-hmm. he would have never, we never probably would have seen this film if you put Ant Man in that position. See, I was After that. Hulk, which flopped, let's, let's, let's go back to the beginning of the MCU now. Yeah. Let's not get amnesia. Yeah. The Hulk came, flop. So if it was Ant Man and then the Hulk, two back to back flops, they have already said Why you keep saying Ant Man having his own movie? I always said he should just been an Avenger, shouldn't have his own movie. I'm answering Ronan's question. And in, in, in defense, he needs to have his own film. If you want him to be all these characters, the dude that made Ultron, the smartest man in the MC, he's going to have his There's own a film. History I'm not okay with a man having all this power and don't have his own movie, bro. That's just stupid. I, and and like that's you why said, you want that, him to have his own film. I understand. Yeah, and that goes and, back to what you're saying about the, about the origins and the reboots. I think it's very necessary because what I was saying was that Iron Man and Ant Man should have both been the beginning founders of Phase One. Exactly, but if not, but not if Ant Man came out first, out. Ronan, yeah. If Ant Man came out first before we got to see Iron Man, wouldn't be him. no MCU, bro. I got you. Ain't nobody come. No one came to see Hulk, bro. That's Hulk not- made two hundred something million dollars, and you gonna follow that shit up with Ant Man? Game. Thank but God they didn't go with Ant Man. The fact they went with is, Robert Downey Jr. Both of those Iron characters Man. are see dealing characters, and they both brought something to the table that are both yes, valuable. They That's did. what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, but That's I'm talking. Yeah, but, I know but, they bring something valuable. I understand that, but it's not about value here. It's about money as far as bankroll. Yes, and, but and, you got to talk they, about consistency what you want. and a universe too. Uh, I, you have to sacrifice. The studios will always sacrifice consistency for profit. What are we talking about here? And what you want, J3, is you want MCU and Marvel to lose billions of dollars by shuffling a reboot, pausing all projects, starting a new narrative, coming up with stories, and relaunching. They're not going to do that. You're right. asking them to sacrifice billions of dollars. They They're won't not sacrifice do billions of dollars. They, they will never lose. And you, you're, you keep acting like, you know, it, I'm talking about doing a reboot, bringing back these characters so we can How have a better. A, 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 hey, I'm talking about bringing these characters back. I ain't talking about the MCU starting with Ant Man. Never came out of my mouth. I said Ant Man should have been in the movie. Yes, he should have been in the Avengers. He never said. Started. Never said you should have started with Ant Man. Should have no, 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 no. You said that. I didn't say that. What I'm saying is, is Ant Man not an original? What Avengers? I'm saying is, Ant Man. No, 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 no. Ant Man should have been Hank Pym. Always believe that because Ant, Ant, Ant- Man put a lot to what the Avengers threats was. And, no, no, you adding in stuff. I'm not. Ta- you're I'm saying talking about, about getting comics right, about, but now you're saying you I, don't want an Ant Man an original Avengers no, no, being original Avengers. No, you're talking about in the beginning of the MCU when they didn't have nothing. Original Avengers need no, to no, sell no, their no, movie. No, I'm talking about a reboot. 
I'm talking about a reboot. You're going back 11 years oh, from now. On. I'm talking about they need to make a reboot. Whoa, you're going to bring Ant-Man back now? And uh, right, uh, Hank Pym no, now? No, no, you brought up Hank Pym in this, this discussion. No, I didn't. You I said, I'd Iron rather Man. see, no, I'd rather see I Ant-Man. Hank. No bro, one is bro, thinking about bro, Hank Pym bro, bro. but you. You the one that brought him up in the conversation. Jr. No. You brought him up in the conversation. I said they need to do a reboot. I brought up, I and brought up, do I look like the type of nigga who's thinking about Hank Pym? Bro, you just I'm said, I'd rather, epic you said, Iron Man. Man. I said, I said, epic said. Iron Man, rewind the tape. I'm talking about how epic Iron Man is, and you said they're not doing the comics right because Iron Man took all the shine from Hank Pym. Don't you said, him, you I said, look, you said, you brought him up. No, you're talking about films. I'm talking about you need to do a reboot, and you need to get the characters correct because of these reasons. They had what they had. They didn't have everybody, and I'm talking about making a reboot and starting it all the way over. Bringing back these characters because these actors are right. out of contract. I'm not saying, oh yeah, you know, you need to just you, you should f the MCU. I like the MCU for what it is. I like it. I understand what they had, but now you have more, and now you need to go ahead and add in these other characters and let them have their shine and make the it makes it more of a solid team. You're the one talking about Hank Pym films. I'm talking about what they took away from the characters. Mm -hmm. They took away yeah. everything and made Ultron. Freaking! I didn't bring Robert Hank Downey Pym into this discussion, you, you, but you, you keep brought, telling me that I'm talking about Hank You Pym. brought, you took Ultron and you made him Robert Downey Jr.'s character, and that's a problem because that's why it's like, who is this joke? That's not him. And then you had Vision. You made and you made him Mrs. Mr. Uh, Mr. Fantastic. You gave him all the smarts. You made him the the beacon of everything, and I understood why. But now you have the rights. Now you can make more. Now you can make the team more solid. Now you can start it over. And give us something more. They won't lose a lot of money on that. They will actually gain more money because now it'll look even more impressive to see a different team. That's an OG squad. Now we're going to have Captain Marvel, Valkyrie, uh, 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 Falcon, America, uh, Bucky, um, uh, uh, Scarlet Witch now. And that's our Avengers. Instead of seeing Mr. Star Spangled Banner, Banner, Red, White, and Blue, Captain America, side by side with Iron Man, uh, Ant-Man, Vi uh, vision. They uh, yeah. They're, they're now they're retired. America's ass, ladies and gentlemen. You're going from the future they're, they're to the past. Yeah, yeah. The You're not. They're I they're never they're look. Y'all can go however you want to go about it, but I'm telling you, just like Ronan sees it, it's going to be a very, very dark MCU moving forward if they don't <laughs> fix what they do. Just because they give you that, they're going to give that eye candy sheet. I get it. I get it. But at what the eye same, candy? What eye candy? No, they're going to give you some eye candy, but like what? But. That magical sprinkle fairy tale, Castle but, Rock stuff. Yeah, but I'm telling you nice. right now, it's it, it, it ain't what y'all think, man. Not with these people. I think I think we we accepted enough, and now it's time when you have these rights to some mariners and stuff like that, and the Fantastic Four to adding in mutants and doing all this stuff, and it's it's it's. I'll you know. bank. You're saying it's the future looks worse than the past, but we forget how bad the past was. Uh, the first five MCU movies were mediocre across the board. I am predicting here that the future will be better than those five films. How much you want to bet? What five films? The next five MCU movies will be better than the first five. The, the next what the five, five. What are the first five? Uh, the first five is Iron Man 1, Hulk, Thor 1, Captain America 1, and oh, Iron Man 2. They ain't saying nothing. That's, <laughs> that's making my point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about <laughs> you can't. how we just came off of an epic run off of those mediocre films. And you're talking about how the future looks bad and this I guarantee you that these movies they come out with, the next five, beat those first five. I bet you they'll be better than them. Well, those so where are we films at? are looking look, good right now look, when you say that. Look. Those, that phase one is looking good We got Black right Panther now. 2, Doctor Strange 2, and Guardians 3 on the way. Those look, All three of look, those will be look, better than but that's a lot of them. But they're at the forefront by default, not from? by being organic, though. Because they, they have nothing else. They keep, everybody's Besides Iron Man 1. I, I'm going to say something, man. Like, y y you're right. The, the f It's something about the first five films. They were leaders, you know. Thor was a leader. Iron Man was a leader. The next five films don't have any leaders, bro. Black Panther. Besides him, Doctor Strange. They, they, no, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is not a leader, man. I saw him lead. He's not a leader. Spider Man's not a leader. He was leading in Infinity War. Uh, he plays Infinity War. He Doctor Strange. He Infinity War. Doctor Strange was above even Iron Man in intellect and plan. But, Tony Stark listened to him. Future, he the future well, yeah. talks his power. Well, yeah. He told him about he, the stones. No, 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 that was uh, that was wine. I told him about the stones. <laughs> Everything he didn't even tell about the stones. That was wine, bro. That, the whole plan of Endgame and Infinity War went through Doctor Strange, bro. 
It was his foretelling. It was him telling Tony what the end game was. It was everything went according to how Doctor Strange foresaw it and told them how to execute it and what should be wait, uh, wait for it. Iron Man is the most popular. I'm not saying that, but I'm talking about as far as like Godfather, like Sidious. Strange is above mm. Iron Man. He's a next level that Iron Man can't even begin to com- 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 okay. comprehend. Same thing. It gives a point. Iron Man is stronger than Captain America. This is Captain, Captain America is leader. Yeah. Uh, Strange is stronger than Iron Man, but Iron Man was a leader, bro. Yeah, Strange, yeah, 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 yeah. Strange, Strange had more knowledge, but that'll no, make you... I didn't say... Him, th- now you're going to the leader. I th- you said a leader. Doctor Strange is a leader, bro. He's not a follower. You don't, He's not... Let's up assemble. He's not that, bro. I, I, mean, I think he's more he's of a, that, I think bro. he's more of a lone soldier. <clears throat> Illuminati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he not, he's not, needs, that makes him a leader. He, Illuminati. He's not a follower uh, or a leader. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's like in between, man. bro. Yeah, he's his own man. In between? Yeah, yeah in between. Yeah. He's, 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 he's a thug. Defin- in my opinion, man. when you're on your own and you manage yourself, you're your own leader. You're a leader. When you don't go by no one's rules but your own, that's a leader. Uh, uh, a leader of himself, not a leader of men. Yeah, that's why he was he was a terrible doctor, yeah, quote unquote. Um, like people didn't like him because cocky, he, he cocky. He was on his own. Level. He was he was always in his own mindset. He's a leader of men now, bro. All right, that's fine. I don't think so. His, life, it's already grew. I don't think though. so. I don't oh, think so. Okay. Well, I think I think he's more of a solo character when it comes to himself and his world, and he does what he has to do to protect that world. And his stone. And his stone. His, his, Shout out to Thor Ragnarok his, for them coming to him for help. Yeah. He's, he's very, uh, he's very, um, uh, you know, his own little small circle. Because you go to somebody for help doesn't necessarily mean you're leading them. You just ask I, for assistance. The the the, the, movie, the first yeah, five movies on these characters so the, far. The, yeah. the, fir- the first five movies had had better characters, but the next five movies going to have the better movie I guess they'll be better yeah, I'm sure of it better Bigger but, but but the first yeah that too but yeah. but the first five movies <clears throat> had the better character Bigger budget the- doesn't necessarily make a movie better bro it just means more explosions and p- for people like us that doesn't blind us I think honestly if you take the next five films compared to the last five nothing that they come out with will triumph over the Avengers period Avengers isn't included in that first five it, it, why is the end, that's the end of phase that's, that's movie six. Uh, he's scared now. He's scared now. Hold on, wait, wait. You know, wait, wait. Story. No, it, it, wait, no. Avengers phase two started with Iron Man three. You put it in Avengers. Oh yes, Iron Man one and two is before Avengers. Yeah, that's but Avengers is still phase one though, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I said phase. I said, I said first five movies. Said first okay. Five okay. Okay. And, and, all right. No, all right. I didn't say for a reason. You're adding a team up movie. Oh, okay. that's just, that's okay. OP well, and it doesn't count. I was just going. You're adding a team. I think. I think I the, the, better, the better question was was right. the, the 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 first uh, phase one versus phase four. Uh, it because you wanted it to be that. No, nah, because you still you still put, no, still no, put no, Guardians in. That's a team movie too. So Guardians is team movie. And then phase one versus phase four. Well, it's not. It doesn't count because. And then you phase four can have fifteen movies in it. Like phase three was long as shit. Phase four can have a lot of movies. Phase one was only six movies. Yeah. So you can't compare phases. It's not fair. Yeah, you can't. But at the same time, you know, Guardians is a team movie, and they just added Thor into that roster. So I don't mean it's we, the like, Guardians. Should we just count solo film for solo film? Or you count solo film for solo film? You're still going to take an L if you nah, bet on the original. Yeah. Take your stance, day three. I don't past know. or the new? I, I want to hear. I think the past has, like you said, better yeah. leaders. Better structured hey, hey, characters, uh, 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 more uh, more fleshed out uh, than the new ones. Uh, the new ones uh, gonna have uh, the, the eye candy uh, and the fun uh, special. Uh, spe- uh, uh, the question uh, remains: effects. Will the first five Marvel movies be better films than the next five that are gonna come from this point on, including Spider-Man: Far From Home? You said That's Far From Home. Uh. You said films, oh. not what they look like, ladies and gentlemen. Films, not entertainment. <sighs> I say fit, yes. Fit, fit, fit. All right, we got Better him. He said, he, fool. He said yes. <laughs> J3 said I that him, the first. I want him, to, I want him, oh, to, him to. Yeah, I want him to. Right. Fools. J- <laughs> Ronnie? Do you I, I don't know that? yet. Well, you don't yet. know. Yeah, I don't know yet. So, HT3 and J3 right now. are banking <laughs> that the first five movies, Iron Man 1, which is the only good one, Cap- uh, Captain America, mediocre, Hulk, <laughs> Thor and Iron Man 2 will be better than Spider-Man Far From Home and the next four Marvel movies that come after that. Better films. Yes. Films. No, no. You make that clear. Films. If you're talking about money and all that shit, that's different. 
You the, ain't saying the, that for them. No, no, no. For no. me, it's all that matters. I, if you Films. win, you win. The 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 first the first Iron Man and and the first Cap probably will be the next five uh, MCU films, bro. Just just cool just, just just film alone. We and of course no money. Is it? Just film alone, bro. I I believe that. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the the, the bets in the books. Rashad C put five dollars out. Shout out to Rashad. Rashad C. Donation. He says Namor, Silver Surfer, Latveria. I'd like more stuff outside these states in general. Ronan, thoughts on the Shang-Chi announced film? Uh, see, I completely forgot about the Shang-Chi movie. I didn't think it was going to happen, but what I, is I, I hope it does. Uh, it's a martial artist and okay. MCU. Okay. Yeah, this goes back to what we've been saying before, man. Uh, they need to switch things up and just take gambles and uh, risk it with new characters, man. I think it's just time. Like, Don't worry about connecting the movies anymore because that phase is gone. Just do one-off standalone movies. And if they meet somewhere down the line, that's then build a story around that because now it's flowing. You know what I mean? Just make simple, like one continuous film and then just do continuation. They don't, everything doesn't have to connect. And I think that's what the MCU was kind of based on because that was the foundation in the beginning. Just, just make a good movie. And if you want to connect it later on, then that's fine. So I think this is kind of good news. This is a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel because the previous question you just asked me, I really don't know how I feel. Like I know how I felt about the MCU before Endgame happened. And, you know, the slot that we have coming up, I'm not really too hyped about it, man, because I like that OG team. So when you give one-off characters like this, I don't know what role Shang-Chi is going to play. I do know other character. Did a little research on him, and I like him. Uh, it's going to be exciting to see where he fits in, uh, and that's all I'm going to bet on, man. And uh, I just hope they stay true to the character and to the martial arts because, again, when you bring in characters like this, you're bringing in certain genres based on who the character is. And I think it's kind of cool that they're bringing this type of martial arts aspect to the MCU. That's kind of new. That's fresh. That's innovative. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've talked about that, and now it seems like they might actually do it. So, yeah, it's cool. And whatever other character you bring in, hopefully it brings something new to the genre and to the MCU as well. So if you're doing that, I'm all for that. But, you know, we're going into this new wave. Everything does not have to connect. And I think we're so worried about tying the movies together, the characters don't get to shine on their own because we're worried about what's going to happen next and what the mid-credit and post-credit scene is going to be. And that's kind of how it was. So if we can get away from that, I think we'll be okay. Okay. So Shang-Chi, yeah, well said, I'm man. down for that. Well said, yeah. man. I'm glad, I'm glad that uh, uh, Differences of Opinion right here on Jody's Corner Live where we keep it 100% always, all the time. Subscribers, do not forget this moment. Timestamp this moment. Play it, place it in your, in your catalogs, in your calendars, uh, especially <laughs> moderators. Remember that we have J3 and HT3 thinking that the first five <laughs> Marvel movies will be better than the next five Marvel movies moving from this point. Third one was tight, bro. Keep Keep it up. Yeah, what, the what one was tired. Iron Man Two was kind of good though, if you think about it. No, Iron Man Two was trash. Stop it, bro. Iron Man Two. Zora so One was tight. I see what you're trying to do. Stop. Not, you can keep trying. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You can try I, to make it sound three, like Thor One I, was tight. I but it movies, ain't gonna work on me. After three Thor movies, the first one was the best one, bro. I agree. Okay. That and, and fi- finish it. Finish it. Finish the statement. So what? say what you just said again, and I'll finish your statement for you. Go. Mm. Out the three and four movies. Out the three third movies, mm-hmm. Thor one was the best one. And Thor's trilogy is the worst trilogy in film history. But we're talking about the first. Miss me. Fa- uh, first nah, five. Nah, we nah. Talking about Name Thor a worse two? trilogy than the Thor trilogy. Phase one. We talking about phase one? Thor, we ain't talking about the other one. So. Hold on. Name me a worse trilogy than the Thor trilogy. Iron Man? No. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Because even though even though even though Thor Ragnarok was a, com- a comedy movie, it was better than Iron Man 3. 